Hi, my name is Sarah Lee, and I'm a graduating senior and an aspiring vision researcher. Today, I'm here talking to our member, Dr. Sangeetha Kandoy, who's from Johns Hopkins University, Baltimore, where she is a Bright Focus Foundation Macular Degeneration Program's postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Neuroscience. This interview is very exciting for me because Dr. Kandoy is my Arvo mentor and I've learned so much from her and her advice has helped me to go on to win various STEM fairs at my school district and state level. Welcome Dr. Kandoy. Thank you Sarah. Uh, Thank you for this yeah. exciting introduction and I'm so happy to make time to chat with you over here. Yeah. Do you have any advice for students like me who are interested in or thinking about entering the eye and vision field or even the scientific field? Absolutely, absolutely. I would first like to thank uh, Setting Your Sight program, which is the program offered by Artwork for dynamic high school students and which gives them the flavor of vision science during their high school days, even before they decide what career they want to take up in their future. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I remember starting with you as a mentor and a mentee through the Setting Your Sight program. And it's incredible to see how long we have come today. Like today, I can confidently say that you know better than me in the, in the <laughs> mini retinas. And, which is a very good feeling because, you know, I'm able to give on the legacy to the next generation to develop more innovative therapies. So I would encourage many students, early career scientists to get involved and to contribute to the field of vision science, either through our high school program or to many other foundational program or just by contacting researchers like us because as we all know, like Rome was not built in a day. Mm -hmm. We can't develop therapies for vision loss in overnight. Like we need that constant support. We need extra hands. We need fresh mind. We need a lot of innovative things to develop. And for that, we need enthusiastic people like you. Mm -hmm. uh, continue doing your best and keep working with us to make this place blind free place. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, I mean, I know I have mentored you for the last two years, um, and I'm sure uh, we had come a long way from where you started, right? Um, I still remember mm -hmm. first for time sure. when I met you, uh, I asked you, like, why do you want to do vision research and vision science research with me? And I remember you saying me that I know we have just two eyes. Uh, but you want to learn more about them. And that's how you came to mm -hmm. me. And today I'm very proud um, and very, I feel very contented to even see where you are today. And I can't wait to see where you go tomorrow as well. Um, so I really want to know what are your next steps and what do you plan to do on the next level of your career? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I feel so blessed and I'm so grateful to have met you, to have met such an empowered female mentor who is so passionate about um, what you do. And that has definitely inspired me throughout my high school career. But in terms of what I'm going to be doing next, uh, I'll be graduating high school and uh, in college, I'm hoping to major in neuroscience because... Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, because since I've had some research experience in the eye and vision field, um, I this summer I had the opportunity to go to Boston and kind of learn about um, even more about the eye and vision field. But I also got exposed to a bit of neuroscience and I was just fascinated by how our brain is an orchestrator of every, fa every facet of our body. So um, I just had to pursue uh, neuroscience. And in college, I'm hoping to, again, get some research experiences and also just delve deeper into the STEM field and also hopefully become uh, some kind of role model and example for other like high school students like me right now, because I feel like especially where I am, I sometimes I felt a bit of lack of representation of those um, empowered female mentors. So hopefully I can be like that to some other students as well. So yeah, that's my plan. Amazing. That is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so I can't much. wait to see where you go next.
definitely (laughs) and of course I just I'm always so grateful that I have met you and I was able to do research because I feel like I've learned so much and not just scientifically but also just as a person I echo the same thoughts and same feelings with you Sarah (laughs) thank you thank you